expectation, and of course you work for the man Michael Jordan. What are your expectations, uh, anticipation as far as the last dance? Jerry, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited as hell, man. Um, I was talking to my mom, 85 years old. She's been a big, um, uh, a big fan of the Bulls doing that area. I was because I worked for for Michael, but she loves. She's a sports fan. She's excited. Uh, my wife is excited. You know, I have not talked to anybody who's not excited about seeing this. And here's the thing, man. When you get a documentary like this, and I've been sharing with people, and 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 you and I, have, you and I have had the discussion as well. I think. You know, when you have an opportunity to see and hear what's behind the curtain, that's what makes it exciting, man. You're going to see and hear some things that obviously that you didn't know, you couldn't even imagine, and you're going to see some people in their real element, okay? In right. their real element. And you're not going to know this, and you sometimes it's going to be a little bit offsetting or disappointing, but this is real. And this is what a documentary is. It shows you for what who you are. Right. So uh, I'm going to be. It's going to be interesting to see what the repercussions, not the repercussions, but how people feel about it once it's shown and seen. You know what they feel about Phil. How do they feel about Jerry Krause? Because I got my own feeling about Jerry Krause. I had a personal relationship with Jerry Krause. And it's in the um, book. It's yes, in the book, it's in the right? book. Yep. Yes, yes. Mom and I were talking this morning about. It. I never will forget when he came to our home, and it snowed. And he walked in and didn't knock the, the snow off his feet. And my mom was like, hey, 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 buddy. And she didn't know who he was. It was just Jerry Krause, man. Hey, 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 step, take, uh, take your shoes off or get the snow <laughs> off your feet. This is, this is facts, man. So oh, anyway, man. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just think, I was just thinking, I don't know. I'm looking up. I got a lot of pictures up here, you know, different things that happened when I worked from. So I, I want to tell you this quick story. Um, so Michael came by uh, the Family Life Center one day. And um, he said, uh, we, we, went, we went in the playroom, right? So uh, there's a ping pong table. Mm -hmm. And so he says, let's play, a, let's play a game of ping pong. I'm like, okay, all right, you know, it's MJ, it's a, it's a nice day, you know, we play a game of ping pong. Um, he wins, right? So I'm like, <laughs> all right, let's, let's, play, let's play another one. I win. Now, when I win, I'm like, all right, we're done, because it's 1-1. <laughs> one, one. Right, right, right. Man, he looked at me and said, no, we don't leave like that. And he was so damn serious. I thought if I didn't play, he would fire my ass. All right? I'm serious. <laughs> right, 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 so right. But we right. had to play, we had to play another game, man, because somebody had to be the winner, right? Somebody had to win two games more than one. And so I had to play another game. And I would say I had a little bit of anxiety and nervousness playing that third game. I'm like, <laughs> if I win, what the hell's gonna happen to me? <laughs> right. That's right. a true story, Terry. So Move I know on. how competitive this guy. He did. He won. <laughs> I was scared shitless. I didn't want to. <laughs> God bless you. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know,